y'all, Bridget Bartlett here. Today I am super, super excited to share with you how you can not only create images inside of High Level, but how you can actually rebill for them. Now, I did a training last week where I went more in detail about how you can use AI in the image creator inside of the social media planner. And you can actually, if you... Um, have registered for access to our free training and tools, you can do that at BridgetBartlett.com. You'll find that detailed training here. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about how you can do this in the social media planner because now we have it available inside the website builder, the funnel builder, and even in the image gallery. Okay, so this is super, super exciting. Uh, the cool part about that is, is you can also rebuild your SaaS members for the ability to create create this. It's based on a credit system, just like the emails and text messages. Okay. So let me just quickly show you if you create a post here, you'll see create new post. And when you click on that inside of the social media scheduler anyway, let me go ahead and create new post. Uh, my computer's been kind of wonky. Let me refresh my screen here for just a second. Okay, it was being wonky right before I went live. So let me show you this part here, okay? So to turn this feature on, what you need to do is go inside of your agency settings, okay? Meaning your admin account of your agency. You need to go into the agency settings, go to the company tab, and then you're gonna see the option content AI text and image. You need to enable that. Okay, now once you have enabled that, what you wanna do is go to your SaaS configurator and you're gonna see all of the options that we have available to rebuild our clients, okay? So lots and lots of opportunity here inside of High Level. Now I do recommend that you at least 3X the charges because you do have taxes and processing fees and different things like that. Um, so at least 3x. But of course, you may have different plans and a lot of agencies do they keep the low monthly cost. Um, and then they, you know, mark this up a little bit more. So it's really up to you how you want it to work with your business. But just know that this is the option here. So your cost here for the AI content, okay, it is nine cents for a thousand words or six cents per image, okay? So if you three exit, it's gonna be 27 cents per thousand words and 18 cents per image. Uh, so $10 will give you about 37,000 words and 55 images, which leaves you uh, for 18 cents per thousand words or 12 cents per image, all right? So that's basically how it all breaks down with the cost. Now, I know a lot of people are already asking, well, yeah, but isn't it just cheaper if I use MidJourney and ChatGBT? And that could be true, but you need to decide, um, is, is it cheaper? I mean, at least the, the bare minimum MidJourney price is $10 per month. And if you're someone who's not really using it, that much you may this may be cheaper for you if you're only generating you know 55 images then maybe ten dollars a month it's worth it to you to just the ease of use to be able to have inside of your system um, but you also have to think about the members of your agency they're not marketers they're not typically um, you know they're local business owners and they're probably doing this themselves or you want to balance the time if you have VAs working for you you know creating all of these images Images or you know you have a team is it worth the time to have them you know creating the images on mid journey and then downloading them and then uploading them you know there's lots of different scenarios and really at the end of the day you have to decide whatever works best for you okay but this is an excellent solution for your clients inside of high level because most of them are not familiar with all of that most of them don't even want to learn they just want to type in car and get a picture of a car Okay, so um, that's why this is such a great solution. And also the ability for you, the agency owner, to charge for this is really incredible. You can see how, you know, the the benefits of that, um, you know, there's the lots of monetary benefit to that. Okay, let's go back here now to my account. And uh, you can see if I click on now create post and select all of my 
uh, channels here. I'm just going to quickly go through this. You'll see that you can generate the written content. You can also click here and then generate the image AI. You just type in um, the description and then you can choose uh, the style that you like. This right here is basically the format of all of the places inside of high level. They are adding it everywhere. Everywhere that you can put an image, they are going to add this option to use the AI to generate an image. Okay, so that's really, really cool. Like I said, if you want more detailed training on all of this, uh, definitely check out the knowledge base there. Okay, so now I want to show you this super, super cool thing. I'm going to go ahead and create a funnel from a template. Now, think of when I'm doing this, I want you to think of you doing this for one of your clients to onboard them. Of course, we want to do that as quickly as possible. Or your clients doing this for themselves when they're not very techy uh, and not very experienced and don't want to spend a lot of time, right? Because our, our clients, you know, if, if we have lawyers and doctors and plumbers and HVAC guys, um, they don't want to spend all the time, you know, learning how to build a great website. They just need a website, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to select this option here, just this random website. I didn't even look at it. And I'm going to choose Get this template. Okay. So now this is me or my client that's creating this website. And um, now we need to edit it ourselves. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me refresh here. Can't remember if I chose template. Okay. So I think it's called Ocean Bites here. All right. So now that I'm inside of the funnel, I'm going to go ahead and open it up to edit this. And first of all, of course, with the text here, um, you know, if we wanted to create a better headline than this, uh, we could simply do uh, create content and we could say write a website, website headline uh, for, let's see, um, an amazing Japanese I'm so sorry. I am a horrible speller. Uh, Japanese chef. Okay. So um, I especially can't spell when I'm live. Okay. <laughs> Japanese chef. So I'm just going to, I can click um, additional options here and I can choose my writing tone. So you can see that, yes, we could do this with chat GPT. Um, we could do this with lots of other tools, but what we're trying to do here is save time and make it easy for our clients or our team to be able to do all of this inside of the platform. So I'm going to say professional and generate. And then it's going to shoot out, uh, you know, three different variations. So discover the culinary magic of a Japanese master chef, discover the culinary artistry of a Japanese master chef and experience the art of authentic Japanese cuisine. OK, I'm just going to click copy there. And then now you see we can create the actual written copy. OK, so we could go ahead and do that. And this was always the struggle for me when creating websites, is just knowing what to write. So having this really is just such a game changer. OK, now let's talk about the image. OK, so if I am uh, creating an image and this is my template, right, I want to go over to the image. Now I could click here and go into the image gallery. But now you see I have the option to go into the image gallery or create an image using AI. And you see we have the same box that pops up here. So I'm going to say um, uh, create an image of a Japanese chef. OK, and here we go. That's probably not even right. We're going to do three variations here, and we want it to be like a real photo. However, we could make it filmatic or dreamlike or any of these other styles here. I'm just going to generate because, you know, when you're creating images, not only or when you're creating websites, not only is it the uh, the written copy that you're trying to customize on a template, and maybe you don't know what to say, but it's also the images. OK, now these are kind of uh, funny looking images. You know, you can see this guy is he looks like he's praying here. This guy looks pretty happy. So I'm just going to choose him. 
Okay, so now you can see how easy that is to just generate the image of what you wanted. We could not just people, but we could also say um, a um, a field freshly mowed with stripes. Let's just say that because I have a lawn care business and that's something that we're always looking for images of beautifully freshly mowed um, lawns to use in our uh, marketing, not just ours, but um, other ones that we could use. So I'm just going to generate that image like this was a lawn care website. And then now you see that we have some AI, that one looks kind of funky, but uh, you see that now we have some generated images. So if I wanted this to be, you know, on my lawn care website, that quickly gives me the image. Now you can also not just create images like this, but you can also click on the background and then change the background image. And you can see when you click in there, it actually opens up your image gallery, okay? So if I wanted to create a background image, uh, maybe say a uh, Japanese restaurant. I know all of you are like, really, Bridget? How many times uh, are you going to misspell Japanese and then misspell restaurant? And uh, it's okay. All right, so I'm going to say now, let's see, restaurant, and I'm going to do three variations, and let's make it like a real image here, and I'm going to generate. So now it's going to give me an image of a Japanese restaurant that I want to put in the background of my website for the header there, okay? Um, I do want to say hello to Ray and Maria and Frankie who are watching on YouTube. Ray says, wow, this opens up a lot of possibilities. You're absolutely right, Ray. That is for sure. Okay, so uh, this would be a great image. I'm going to go ahead and click continue, but you'll see nothing happens. Okay, so that might be confusing. Well, what happens is every time in the system that you generate an image using the AI, it's going to land in a folder here called Content AI. And when you click there, you can see the images that I've been creating so far, uh, but you can also see the image that I just created. So I'm going to double click there, and now you'll see, of course, I need to adjust um, the background here and maybe change the color and make it transparent. I also have um, heavy fade, so we'll put none there. Um, I can also change this so it fills the full width. So I could definitely play around here. But you see how quickly I can take a template and then customize it very simply for a client. So not only am I saving a lot of time, but I'm also saving my team time. And if I am a one-man show, I can definitely pump out some websites very, very quickly. Okay, uh, so... That is, let me check my little cheat sheet here. That is the gist of everything that I wanted to show you today. Um, thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope that you're excited about this because I really, really am. High Level just keeps pumping out the features and possibilities. So really, the options are endless. You are definitely in the right place. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us for today's training. If you have any questions, you can join us for open office hours starting right now at BridgetBartlett.com. It's free and open to everyone. 